Hello, freaks and geeks, and welcome to another episode of Fallout 4 Survival Mode. And well, well this time, I'm not exactly quite sure what we're going to do this time, but uh, first things first, um, we're almost to, you know, we're almost to uh, carry capacity, and we're just needing to go back to our home base at uh, Hayman, Hay Hangman's Alley, and uh, yeah. We basically need to do that. Uh, actually, while we're here, here, ah, there's actually two things we can do around here. So, let's go ahead and actually do that. To be fair, we kind of need to head back to the base as soon as possible, but I don't think it will hurt to try to kill some ghouls real quick. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh, whoa! Oh, shit! Okay, then. That was... How, how did you move a car like that? Good sir. Oh, looks like I, uh... Hmm, there's a frag mine over there. I swear the car physics are very, very strange ever since the uh, new update has been out. Not saying that they haven't always been strange, but yeah. Oh, ow. Good day to you, madam. Uh, are you in the building? Over there, I see. Uh, I don't... I mean, I guess I do have a grenade, but I don't exactly want to th throw my only grenade in there. What? What type of animation was that? Oh, I see. It was like that because you... Oh, God. I heard ghouls waking up. Oh no! Um... <laughs> oh god! Um... Uh, why do... Uh, oh god. Uh, uh, mm, uh... Quantum! Let's do a quantum! What did we get? Uh, fucking safe crackers. God damn it. Uh, how much does it weigh? Three? We can. Okay, sure. We can just k take that to sell it. I know there's a frag mine around here somewhere. Because I seen. I seen it. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I don't exactly want to. Try to pick it up. <laughs> well, we have a uh, just Fallout being Fallout, I guess. I uh, gotta be careful around the cars. Uh oh, God. I think I would like to use that frag mine now. Uh, 
What the fuck? Okay, okay, I am running, I am running, I am running, I am running. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's, um, just... My god, that doesn't do shit. Um, okay, Psycho Jet. Um... Okay, that's doing something, at least. Uh, okay, another one, another one! Oh my god! That was scary! Well, there's still a ghoul around here somewhere. That... That, that... Gare, fair, or that glowing one just revived. Where are you? Oh, you're down here. What in the... What? <laughs> the hell? <laughs> you have no head, sir! He, he, you have no head! Okay, that is... Wow. <laughs> Starting off this episode with a bang, I guess. <laughs> what the hell? Alright, well, with that, um... I guess let's go over to this medical building over here, which I know is filled with bugs. And I think there's actually a bottle mine somewhere in the... Ah, there's a frag mine. Yes. Oh yeah, and blood bugs. Yeah, fucking great. Alright, trying to just get a good shot at this. Uh... Oh! Hello there, Legendary! Ow! See, what do we get? I... Hmm, cloaking. Why? I'm going to have to get a good one sooner or later. Uh. Oh! <laughs> why are you running? This happened again! Like, why, why are you fleeing? Kill him! Kill the blood bug before it gets you! Ah! Well, that was eventful. I swear, I do. <laughs> Why did I decide to do this? Is there like radiation around here? I honestly forget. Ooh, ooh, stim pack. Actually, let me get out Righteous Authority, because, um, I'm having a feeling that will be a better. <gasps> oh, uh, I fucking hate that. Buzz buzz back to you. How are you missing? Okay then. 
Now to come for the blood bug. Which honestly terrifies me. It's such a close fucking range. Okay, well that was easily dealt with. Okay, so there's the key. Kind of forget how you uh, end up down in there. How you get inside. I kind of forget all that. <gasps> ah! Fucking. That's your failing me. Where did I. Where did that. Where did that uh, fucking boat fly even come from? Ah. Two fragmentation grenades. Yay. Ah, so there's two of them. Oh! Oh! Hello there! Hate those things. So I need to get down below. How do I get down below? Ah. Staircase. I do not like this one bit. More so the fact because I hear more more bugs. Really? I can't shoot through that? Come on. I do not want to open that door yet. I do not want to be swarmed by bugs. Fuck it, let's just use a critical. Ah, uh, yes, I knew it. Uh, I knew it. Ah, uh, oh. Let's just close this door. Okay, let's. Okay. Okay, let's. Psycho Jet. Nuka Quantum. Yes, let's fucking just book it. Don't know if that would work. My God, I'm what? I'm running into a lot of fucking shit. Uh. Oh God. Okay. Um, I that was my last like slow time slowdown thing. Yeah, that was our last bit of psycho jet. That's actually. Fuck. Does the range not... Are they not allowed to come out of this basement? I do not want to deal with them in this fucking basement. Oh no. Oh well, fuck. I've... Oh my goodness, I hate AI. AI! Ah! Come on! Come on! I know you know where I am! Oh no. Come on! Motherfucker! Oh! Well, I didn't know that was a thing!
Oh, well, there's a random bloat fly. Oh my god! The fucking back and forth between me and that blood bug. <laughs> god damn it. Oh great, now I hear a radiation storm brewing. Is there any more bugs? Of course I'm carrying too much now. Alright, well... On that note, I think we should go to, uh, go back to our base. I guess we could also stop by, yeah, and return, yeah, stop by those places as well and return the, uh, and, uh, do, or <laughs> go back to the quest givers and get some XP as well. Alright, this time we're actually gonna be leaving this area. <laughs> Just gonna, just gonna pop some radix. I would like to actually, you know, wait out the storm, but um, yeah, I don't think that's like, gonna happen. What in the hell? Oh, is this? Yeah, this is one of the boosters, right? Yeah, art jet. Begin test fire. Oh god! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Alright! Alright, that was fun. That was funny. <laughs> I caused explosions. Ah, vertebrate. Uh, oh yeah, the super mutants over there. Yeah, you you have fun dealing with them. Ah, uh, looks like. Oh God, really? Oh, dropping off some knights over there. I don't see anything. Maybe it's maybe I'm too far out uh, of the draw distance or whatnot. Yeah, I'm just gonna swim to avoid those super mutants up there or over there. Don't mind me, I am just gonna drink some of your water real quick. Hello. So those ghouls that were giving you trouble. Yeah, one of them was a scary glowing one. And it even revived it, uh, revived, even revived a, a headless one. It was terrifying. <laughs> it was completely terrifying. So, yeah, now I can actually sleep on this bed. Now, I, want, I kind of forget, did I, have I returned to... Oh no, yeah, it tells me to report to Paladin Dance. So yeah, no, I haven't actually been back here since the Brotherhood has returned. Well, this was a bit unplanned, but I think we're gonna do some more Brotherhood stuff. Cavalry's arrived, and it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship, I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Yeah, uh, hold on for a second. I need, I need a, uh, talk to Halion. Here it is. And still in good shape, too. Here's I'm always looking for tech. Once you're ready, come find me. Why is the dialogue keep on getting skipped? Where's the other guy over here? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, well, are you all right with the pillow there? Might as well go ahead and pick up uh, another one of those missions. Uh, just out of curiosity, where are these two? Uh, oh wait, huh? Oh, really? 
Okay, so I'm gonna go to Hubert's Comics, which is a whole bunch of ghouls, and then uh, clear out. Oh yeah, clear out the the mole rats at that at the disposal, the 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 place I was scared at before. I did not want to go into. Yay! All right, let's bur board the vertebird. I don't know if I already had said this or not, but um. But I mean, I. I will. Although there's nothing really that's gonna be shooting at us, I don't think. Are you, are you sure about that? But yes, uh, I know I said I wanted to go to Hangman's Alley. Um. But, but since uh, but since this came up, I I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this uh, this mission, and plus we can drop off some uh, some equipment and stuff at the at the locker they that they give you. Yes, yes. What? I think I think it's from those people down there. I don't know. I don't think that they have a rocket launcher. I heard a rocket launcher as well. Yeah, I don't think that's the right word to use for that because um, it's I don't know. It it doesn't exactly uh, you know, ring. Bring the good guys. And I must say that the print one does look really, really uh, gorgeous. And no matter what conditions you first appro approach her, and whether it be night, misty, or whatever, it's it's always a. Uh, It's always a nice sight. Oh, hello there, other vertebrate. Permission granted. Welcome back. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted into an issue, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rank as person. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxence approved your request. Place the recruitment in your charge. Thank you, sir. And we encourage orders. You are to remain in the field and await further instructions. Very good, sir. And Victoria, Captain. At Victoria. Excuse me, Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Davis has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood great deal of latitude. To the Commonwealth ...with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the supreme commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the citadel and the capital wasteland in a mere decade he's grown the brotherhood of steel into a major military force he's an inspiration to us all is there anything else what are my orders your orders are to proceed to elder maxon's address after which he wishes to speak with you anything else 
I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. All right. I am heading there. Oh, th thank you. I didn't hear your complete speech or whatnot or your voice line, but thank you. Much better than that other rude person. Sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and are beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb they call their creation, the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their Sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium! Hmm. I think there's an abridged line or or, or something that's a bridge that has a joke like that. <laughs> hmm. You know, the people of the Commonwealth. Care about them? I thought we were preparing for war. The Brotherhood is here to prevent a war by starting one of our own. The difference is our war won't reduce civilization to ashes. You're not going to convince me you're right. Yet despite that, Paladin Dan still feels you'd be an asset to the Brotherhood. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. Alright. So, our next step of action is to familiarize ourselves with the Pridwin, which is great, great fun. First, we need to speak with Dance. Excuse me, Paladin Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, 
We have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. Where are uh, you going? We still have some things to discuss. <laughs> What the hell? Like you. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Do you need to come with me now? It might help if I tagged along with you. On the other hand, you might want to make your first impression without a paladin standing over your shoulder. It's up to you. Uh, I will go alone for now. Just because if I do take them, you know, I'll dramatically have a, a whole bunch of carry weight that I will lose. So, But I can always pick them up later or before we go on the actual mission. So, yeah. Uh, not, not right now. I'll go it alone for now, and come find you when I'm ready. Suit yourself. I'll be in the mess hall if you need me. Firing. What? Trust me. No. Good. Uh, firing. Right, all right. It was nominal, and you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> getting radiation sickness. I'd stay away from ferals. Good to know. Yes. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! Fallout being Fallout. Uh, yes. Hey. You like trading some equipment? Uh, yes. Um. <laughs> what happens if I take that fusion core? Will you pop out of the, out of the uh, <laughs> power armor? Oh my goodness. Now that's what I call locked and loaded. All right. Expecting. I can handle myself. Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, <laughs> you saying that to someone in power armor? We'll get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the crit one's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire. You come see me. While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying to be polite. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, you mean the one- If you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. You mean the one that I'm uh, in me. right now? I need to get back to work. <laughs> Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Looks uncomfortable in there. It's not that bad. And this is the stowage depot. And I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. 
That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. As long as I don't end up in the brig. Don't worry. Last thing I'd want to do is get our newest recruit in trouble. Just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. Yeah, I don't think I'll be doing that. Uh, <laughs> I, I really don't like doing those missions. Hello there, Mr. Catman. You'll find me here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What? Not even a thank you? I hardly need to... Oh my. It appears I've mistaken you for someone else. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data, we need to get our hands on it. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Glad you finally stopped. Ah, and then finally... For your uh, medical exam? And then finally, the doctor. Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller. You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question. And please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? If my life's in danger? whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. 
If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Actually, speaking of, I don't think there's that much radiation, but might as well go ahead and get a rad Who scrub. Anything else bothering you? And a uh, and a health top up. Wait, hold on. Am I addicted? Oh, wait a minute, I am. Shit, hold on, never mind, hold on. Alright, there is one more thing I would like to do. Never forget, you are the eyes and the ears of the Brotherhood. If you see or hear anything suspicious, it is your duty to report it immediately. We live in enemy territory now. Your vigilance could mean the difference between life and death. Understood? Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Good. Ad Victorium, Squires. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Dismiss. <laughs> that should hold. Thank you, sister. You know we wouldn't have to worry about them getting out if they weren't on the ship. Your concerns are noted, Scribe. Give Proctor Ingram my thanks for letting me borrow you. Feel free to have a look at the specimens, but please don't touch anything. I refuse to be held responsible if you are injured. Uh, this is the uh. Uh, person I'm looking for. Quite a collection you've got here. Well, thank you. Most people don't appreciate the important work that I'm trying to do here. I'm on the cusp of discovering how these creatures' bodies have adapted to the radiation that's infiltrated their habitats. If I can crack the code, I can equip our troops with a protective compound far superior to Rad X. What do you mean, crack the code? The genetic code. The DNA sequences that are in every living thing. You see. The ionizing radiation left behind by the Great War kills because it damages most living things on a cellular level. However, after several generations, these creatures' bodies have adapted by altering their genetic makeup to prevent cellular disruption. I believe I've discovered how I can replicate that genetic restructuring rapidly. Instead of decades, I can do it in moments. For a short period of time, anyway. Altering someone's genetic code sounds dangerous. Absolutely. That's why I'm taking precautions and not altering the genetic code permanently. I wish I could show you a sample of the compound, but unfortunately I've hit a stumbling block preventing me from synthesizing a sample. The specimens I've already captured can only produce so much blood and genetic material. If I try and harvest too much, they'll die. What I need are more samples of blood from the creatures roaming the Commonwealth. Will I get some of that new compound you're developing? If I make a breakthrough, you'll be the first person I give it to. After I've tested it on myself, of course. I've modified your pit boy to scan the corpse of any freshly killed creature that has the proper type of blood in its body. All you have to do is pick up any viable sample and bring it back to me. Hey, I really appreciate you doing this for me. It's nice to know I'm not the only person in the Brotherhood with an open mind. I, I love it. My person says, oh, wait a minute, that sounds dangerous. And then, and then immediately they say... Uh, can I have some of that serum that you're cooking up from that blood? Ooh, antibiotics, yes. Actually, I should be checking around the, uh, the medical things a lot more, actually, now I come to think about it. I don't think there's actually a lot of them in here. Wait, what? Oh, neat! I didn't even know that this was here. I mean, I don't even know what the purpose is to this. Why don't you familiarize yourself with the Privilege crew? Are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super plants. It looks like just an island, sir. Nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse. They're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate them. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby. Fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty vehicles from the face of the earth. Dismiss. All right. Um, where's the vertebrate? 
There's supposed to be a there's supposed to be a vertebrate right here. Uh, I think the mission's broken. Where, where's the vertebrate? Okay, wait a minute. It's it says that it's down here. Wait, what? Oh, why is there some jet right here? Oh, I'll take that. Wow, there's four mini nukes right here. What? <laughs> I would take them, uh, but uh. Yeah, they're too heavy. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I guess I need. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I, I, I need a I need to board my vertebrate. Quit shooting. My God. Stop it, you're firing at one of your own ships! What the hell? I've never had that happen before. Actually, I think I've seen this happen before in, um... In many a true nerds playthrough. I, and I think it was in survival mode as well. <laughs> it's... I... Uh, I, I guess it's still in. It's still. A, I'm guessing it's still glitched in the game. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Let's focus on the big one. I can't, honestly, I can't really see anyone, any, anything else as well. Oh wow, there's a second vertebrate. Okay, yeah, I can't see any other super mutants. Where are they? Where are the other super mutants? Okay, well, there's some. Oh. Uh, what are you doing? I think we're good. Well, that was really is easy there. I think it all was helped by that second vertebrate coming around. Uh, I don't know exactly where we took down the behemoth. I think it was somewhere around over here. Oh yeah, there, there, there are. Sighted, calibrated. Hold on, let me look at this other. I mean, it has a bayonet. <laughs> I have more, but less range. You're not really looking for range in a shotgun, anyways. All right, all right. Let's go into Fort Strong. It should be somewhat easy with uh, dance in here.
dance? What are you doing? Dance! What? What the fuck? Dance! Uh, you I think you're holding your gun wrong. Okay. Um Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. Okay, I don't actually have any grenades. Dance! I don't know what the hell... Dance, hold on. Come on. Affirmative. Moving out. <laughs> no problem. Well that does that fix you now? <laughs> Yay, you're fixed! You just had to go down. Here, gone. All right, let's do this. Get fucking chameleon. Take it to sell it. My God, we're we're just getting all this. Sh we're just getting all this shit. Um, <laughs> legendaries right now. We're we're owed for one good one. We're we're owed for at least one good one sooner or later. All right, let's take the take the elevator. Dance, you can join me in a second. <laughs> you all right? You look kind of stuck there. Okay, so it's just two super mutants. Oh, okay! R rocket launcher! I obviously took out the wrong person. Do not let them pick up the rocket launcher! Well, that was mildly terrifying. Alright. Dance, was you saying something to me? Uh, it, well, you know what? 
I, I will agree because <laughs> super mutants are scary, and I just I I don't like them. I don't like them at all. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking oh, a step forward, that. only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxim. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Oh, hey, Dance, what you doing out here? <laughs> With that, uh, we are going to head back to the Pridwin. Dance is not currently in our company right now, so I do believe our carry weight jumped up a little bit more. Actually, no. Is Are they still in our company? I forget. Uh, but, yeah... We need to head back to the Pridlin, and as as you know, um, the our, you know, you can't fast travel, so we're just gonna have to go via land, and yeah, that's it's it's not that quite uh, straightforward. So hopefully, I'll see you back at the airport, back in on the Pridlin, without much um without much uh, without much happening in between. Hopefully. Actually, you know, thinking about it, there should be a suit of armor that spawns right here. Ah, T-51. I don't exactly need to take out the fusion core. But that is a another chassis, uh, let's just say, to be able to put other bits and bobs on it. Oh yes, the, uh, the level ups. We got two of them. <laughs> let's do those real quick. Alright, seeing how we're not... I'm, I'm kind of gonna decide against riflemen at the moment. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna I am gonna take Lone Wander just because even though we're not I don't think we're gonna be currently traveling alone um, That is We're gonna be traveling alone m most of the time. So let's go ahead and just take that uh, Critical banker Ooh. You know, what? yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take better criticals um, the next r rank is not going to be until level 40, so it's quite a, the long ways away. On the other hand, yeah, well, Critical Banker, the next level of that is not until 43, but I'm have, I'm feeling good on the amount of criticals that we currently have so far. It would be nice to have another, you know, another critical in the bank, but... I think whenever we do use it, I think it needs to be even more powerful. So yeah, we're gonna take that. Don't get me wrong, sooner or later we are gonna need to boost our perception, or not perception, our agility. What am I talking about? One more so we can get ninja. So we can, you know, get our sneak attacks actually, you know, going up and up. That's one of the things that we're kind of, kind of poor about right now, is our sneak attacks. Um, also, Mr. Sandman, that would actually would be really nice to actually get um, get a hold of for silencers. But I actually, you know, I didn't really think about getting Gun Nut too, which we should actually probably grab next level, next rank up, because because uh, Gun Nut three is actually level 25, so. Yeah, I, I think I think that's gonna be the next course of action is to get gun nut. Yeah, we do not want to get involved in the the robot racing right now. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love robot combat and you know robots anything, but um, yes, I do not want to get involved with robot racing right now. Getting back to the Prid Pridwin isn't too much of a hassle. Uh, whoops. Accidentally hit the RB. Uh, yeah, getting back to the Prinlin isn't actually too much of a hassle if you uh, 
if you just stick to the water line as uh, as close as possible. And yeah, here we are. It, good to know. Ah, there's that El Elder Maxon. Outstanding work at Fort Strong. Soldier. Whoa. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way, because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Now, this is what the main reason and why a lot of people, I think, uh, side with the Brotherhood, or at least, um, or at least, uh, do their mission as early as possible so they can get brother or you know vertebrate support with these grenades because without fast travel or in, yeah without fast travel or whatnot this is very very useful so make sure to grab as uh, many of these grenades as possible um, from uh, the quartermaster I forget exactly what his name is uh, where can I get more signal grenades I'd use the supply I gave you sparingly these devices are far more complex than a standard smoke grenade. Should you need more, you Proctor Tegan. Proctor Tegan. The best weapon for survival out here. Signal. Uh -huh. Now. Whoops! I did not mean to do that. I meant to press A. I'm sure, you deduce that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't. Whoopsie. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team, according to our scribes. The reading indicated a level of technology. That only the institute could I, I meant to say thank you. I'm sorry. Mwah. Mwah. I'm sorry. The institute and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Sounds like you're going to have me crawling through the sewers now. It could be the sewers, transit tunnels. Or maybe an old vault. We just don't have enough information right now. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? What about those energy readings that Paladin Dance's recon team detected? Our scribes are confident that the energy readings are from Institute technology due to the unusually high frequency. But the source is unknown. We're still detecting them on occasion. But by the time we send a team to investigate, they disappear. Just watch your step. I wouldn't be surprised if the energy reading were caused by some type of institute weapon. Is there anything else? Any suggestions where I should look next? All I can suggest is that you keep your eyes and ears open, Knight. We have every available scribe working on a way into the institute. It's only a matter of time before a method presents itself. Okay. I didn't realize that would end the conversation, but alright. Oh, I did not know you could actually just buy a straight-up power armor frame. Huh. That's... That's actually neat. Yeah, and then you can buy power armor pieces. Huh. But yes, this is actually what I'm mainly looking for. Is a whole bunch of vertebird signal grenades. Even though, uh... Even though you already uh, are given some, I think, eight. I would highly suggest go ahead and grab a new, um, as many as possible. Alright, well, with that, I think I'm going to end today's episode. Uh, next time, we will go back to Hangman's Alley to drop off all this extra stuff that I currently have on me. To drop off this power armor and etc, etc. And then, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do next. Uh, I, I honestly don't really know. I haven't really thought about that or that far ahead. But, yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do that. I got totally distracted, but I, <laughs> I don't regret it whatsoever. So, yeah. Anyways. Board, yes, 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 yes. Anyways, if you like this episode, please give it a like. If you want to see more of these episodes, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you.
in the next video. Bye. <laughs>